Hey, it's Tom here, and in this video, I'm going to be taking you through Audio Imperia's new sample library, Solo, an incredible new collection of lyrical and expressive soloists for Contact Player. Building on the work and experience with soloists within libraries such as Nucleus and the very popular Jaeger Hangar 4 Merete Saltvet, Audio Imperia set out to create a set of soloists with more versatility, flexibility, and options than ever before. Solo features 100% newly recorded instruments, only first players and actual soloists were recorded. Solo violin, viola, cello, trumpet, French horn, descant horn, flute, clarinet, oboe, English horn, bassoon, soprano angelic, and soprano operatic. For a truly expressive performance, each player was asked for a very specific performance that consists of slight crescendo diminuendos with progressive vibrato. These kinds of performances really speak for themselves when writing lyrical passages. Solo features two different types of true legato for each instrument, either rebowed and slurred legato for strings, or fingered and retonged legato for brass and woodwinds, and also two different true legato vowels were recorded for the soprano vocals, R and U. Thank you. 
One of the more unusual instruments that was recorded for solo was a descant horn. This expands the range of the horn by almost an additional octave, which is great for warm, delicate, higher passages. Building on Audio Imperia's popular work with world-renowned vocalist Mirate Soltvet, two new vocalists were recorded, giving you a huge range of options for your productions. Soprano Angelic and Soprano Operatic. The Angelic Soprano uses very little vibrato, with a more airy and mellow tone, making it amazing for quiet and more restrained compositions. While the Operatic Soprano uses a much bolder vibrato, with an open and strong tone, which is great for sitting on top of a huge orchestra. Let's take a look at the Sopranos. The team built a new feature in Pyramid, which is the legato combined, which when you turn it on here, it allows you to merge the two types of legato into a single playable articulation with no need to key switch. So as you can see, the two articulations have been merged into one by pressing this button. This applies to any instrument, it's the same. You can then use the range slider to determine at which velocity you want the different legato articulations to be triggered. So for example, if you want the slurred legato to be triggered only at a really high velocity, then you could pull this all the way to about 100, and anything below that will just play the legato rebode. You can also invert this if you'd rather have it so that the slurred legato is played at a lower velocity. So we do that and then you can change it like this. You can trigger the different legato types using velocity or CC. You can assign any CC by right-clicking the CC label, or by dragging and dropping any control to it. With solo, the same approach was taken as with Nucleus, where the soloists have just one dynamic layer recorded. 
The reason for this is that if there are multiple dynamic layers, when you're crossfading between them, you can encounter certain problems and it doesn't always have the most realistic or expressive sound. And so that's why this approach was taken to have just one dynamic layer and just make it as expressive as possible. Solo can do fast legato passages as well. Try setting the sample start to around 62 milliseconds. And bear in mind that the original concept of solo is lyrical and expressive. So fast legato is going to be somewhat limited. To learn more about this pyramid engine and how it all works in detail and how you can get the best result for your orchestral programming, check out Aud Imperia's dedicated pyramid engine walkthrough video, which is linked below. To learn more about how sample start works and why it's so crucial to orchestral sample libraries, check out Aud Imperia's sample start video, which is linked below. Every single instrument in solo gives you more versatility and control than ever before. For this release, there are two different spot mic positions, spot one and spot two, two mid mic positions, decker and outrigger, and one far mic position. And here you'll also find the staple classic and modern mix that you will have seen in other Audio Imperia sample libraries, giving you a lot of flexibility and ease of use. You'll also notice the easing mixer here, which blends between different mic positions. So if we go to the close, you'll see the two spot mics there. If we go all the way to far, you'll see just the far mic there. If we do a blend in the middle, you'll see the decker and the outrigger being used there. Also, an additional set of articulations were recorded to expand your writing with the legatos.
Expression maps and articulation sets are available for download on the Solo product page. These will work in Cubase and Logic Pro. As with all Audio Imperia sample libraries, Solo comes with individual patches. This is where you'll also find the Legato combined individual patches for strings, winds and brass instruments, in addition to the standard individual Legato patches. An Audio Imperia product wouldn't be complete without the traditional sound design section. You'll notice that in the sound design section, there's the standard pads patch, which we have loaded up, and there's also the pads DFD. Now, what that stands for is direct from drive. And essentially what this means is that only part of the sample will be loaded into contact. And so as soon as you start pressing down a note and holding it down, it will then load the rest of the samples into RAM. This is really useful if you don't have a very powerful computer and you want to save on resources. The pads patch has 13 different pads. Each one of the pads was made from one of the 13 different instruments. With this, each one of the pads will provide a unique texture. Take a guess and figure out which instrument was used for each pad. And that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, leave them down below or contact Audio Imperia support team via email. And we hope you enjoy using Solo in your compositions. Okay, take care and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.